Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon purple spotted gudgeon tank and recently I took the top off the tank and did a little bit of work to the plants in there. We're going to try to get this to be a nice emergent growth tank. I'm going to have some plants growing out of the top, hopefully some pretty flowers pretty soon. And one of the things I had done was I took the top off of my filter there and I stuck what in this circumstance would be referred to as a Brazilian sword in the filter. And after a while I just kind of decided I didn't like it. And so I took it out of the filter and I have now planted it in the tank. And the reason I'm saying that under these circumstances I will refer to this as a Brazilian sword is because in the aquarium hobby they are referred to as Brazilian swords but if you go anywhere else they are referred to as peace lilies and this is a super super common plant you can find them anywhere in fact I was up my grocery store the other night and in the little corner where they sell all the Valentine's and Mother's Day flowers and all that kind of stuff they had several specimens of peace lilies one of them was a species I've never seen before it was really broad leaf and it was enormous. It was so big. It was like twice the size of what we're looking at here. Uh, didn't get a price on it, but I would imagine it's probably not more than $25 or something like that. You can get them this size in the store for $10 or $15, depending on where you get them. They're not expensive. They're super common. And they are Brazilian swords if you put them in your aquarium. The reason I brought this one downstairs, this normally lives in my bathroom upstairs, but over time you know lower fronds and stuff will start to die off and you got to get in there and give it a little haircut trim it up and today i'm going to give it a little bit of a feeding and a watering i feed them about once a year uh super super easy to take care of plant very very little light requirements very little watering requirements and almost no feeding requirements and they produce these lovely little flowers and the main reason I wanted to bring this down here is to show you not only the size that you could get if you bought one of these, you could put Brazilian swords in 10 fish tanks, but I also wanted to show you that flower because it always reminds me of an Anubius flower. It's got that sort of hood that protects the pollen, but the Anubius is the other way around. It sort of opens from the bottom and has all of the pollen and everything in there and of course the Anubius doesn't ever open properly underwater but it tries to and it has a very similar flower to that I don't have any in bloom right now or I would uh, show you for comparison so I just wanted to show you that you don't have to always go to aquarium stores to find aquarium plants you can go to your local grocery store Walmart Home Depot wherever and they sell these plants they're really easy to divide and they're really easy to grow now the one important point to note is this is an open top tank and this is intended to grow emergent that's going to grow up and out of the water any plant that's sold under the name brazilian sword in the aquarium hobby and there's several different species that fall under that name brazilian sword all the brazilian swords are emergent growth plants they have to grow up and out of the water uh, or they won't survive long term. They can do okay for a while underwater, but eventually they do need to be up and out. You can see this one actually has a new shoot coming up. That new shoot will be up and out of the water, I'm sure. So Brazilian swords have to grow emergent. Anything sold under the name Amazon sword is a fully aquatic plant and can be fully submerged throughout its entire life and it will do its full life cycle uh, completely underwater. So. Brazilian swords have to stay above the water or at least have to grow up and out of the water and Amazon swords are fully aquatic and can grow in the water and of course if you want a Brazilian sword just go buy a peace lily. Alright everybody that's my video for today. I'm off to the pet co. Going to see if they've got anything interesting today so make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me and you don't want to miss any upcoming fish that I might be acquiring. So don't forget this one is my purple spotted gudgeon tank. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.